So a guy was shopping for fucking headlights, and it just so happens, fucking a couple days later in his email, platetoilgarage at gmail.com, uh, this year of fucking motors offered me headlights if I uh, shot a video how to install the fucking things. Don't worry, guys. I'm not fucking selling out. When you can save 100 bucks, you'd be fucking stupid not to. No contracts. I'm presenting the way I fucking want to. And as you can see, there's fucking burnouts, destruction, and a typical amount of fucking swearing here. I mean, as long as nothing heavy gets set on top, they'd be all right. Nothing looks damaged. They're definitely protected here. And cool, yeah, there's the turn signals. Fuck yeah. Well, I'll be fucked. That wasn't spam after all. What was it, two, three days later? I already got fucking new headlights and turn signals for my fucking piece of shit gay man cruiser. She even responded to me even after I asked her for more pictures. Didn't even phase her. So normally, on a fucking Chevy 1500, or GMC in this case, 9907, if you're doing just the headlights, you don't need to remove the grill. But because I got turn signals as well, brand new turn signals go with it, I'm gonna put them in. So you gotta take the fucking grill out to do that, which is pretty fucking simple. You got a bunch of bitch clips here. Why are they called bitch clips? Because, well, you bitch and complain when you fucking have to try and take them off. If you don't feel like spending five bucks at Hobo Freight to get the cheap four-piece fucking plastic jobber remover set here, the other way is take a fucking screwdriver, get them starting going, and then you can come in with a pair of of dice, oh sorry, side cutters, gotta be PC now, and pry them up to get them out. But because this truck has been a part of a bunch, it looks like, and it's been an accident or two, he's come right out like nothing. Ah, yeah. This one actually has a bolt in it there. Bolt should be a uh, fucking 10 millimeter. Fuck. Oh, I broke it. Oh well. Yeah, it's just at 110 mil, that was right here, and then the grill, I don't know if it's in fucking frame, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six bitch clips holding it on, three on either side here, hopefully you can see that, you just yank out on the grill, and if it's not pre-broken like mine, well, there's a good chance you can make it pre-broken if you're not careful, but who gives a fuck, right? I mean, that's aerodynamic right there. Ah, yeah. Fuck that thing. Oh, so now's a good time to check over and wow, that power steering cooler uh, can go fuck itself. That's fucking quality right there. Weight savings, more weight savings. So all you got is this fucking clip right here. All you do, push in, and boom. Because all this side does, it just goes into that guy to stop it from popping out. Fucking simple. Oh, that light's burned out anyways. Oh, that one's missing the yellow on it. That's burned out. You know what you do with this? That's what you do with it. So, fucking installation is fucking reverse or removal. Well, when you're doing it, there's these fucking uh, guys right there. There's two of them. They go in these fucking slots right here. You gotta make sure those are lined up. Once they are, and it's pushed all the way towards the rad. Come in here. To that guy. Push. She's clicked now. Fuck it. Solid as a rock. Now we'll move on to the headlight. This one's even fucking simpler. Like I said, you didn't even need to remove the grill to do just the fucking headlight. Dion made this one easy. You got two clips here. Pop it that way, pull it up, and then that one, pull up, and fucking blammo, done, like literally, so fucking stupid simple.
fuck these cars. You got to remove the front bumper and everything else. Fucking change a fucking headlight. Like, fuck. Fuck off. I got work to do. Quarter turn. It's locked in. Put this one in because it's easy and you don't need to remove the fucking plug. And blammo. Because my truck's been in an accident before, these uh, might not want to fit the greatest. But you just got to force them in, so it's all right. Ow! I'm going to have to aim the fuck out of this thing. The other one was aimed into the fucking ground. This one's aimed at the fucking sky. I'll be able to see all the fucking owls in right now. Fuck yeah. Part B is the same as part A over here. truck outside time to aim the fucking headlights what you don't want see right now you can tell this one's up a little bit compared to the right one not bad right oh well, you're gonna want to go about 10 foot back and then you'll really see what the fuck's going on this one's in the fucking trees i'll see all the owls at night and this one's just gonna blind everyone which normally i don't give a fuck about but you get flashed by too many fucking people with even brighter lights and kind of pisses you the fuck off after a while. Six millimeter, or I'm guessing uh, T20, T25 Torx for the adjusters. So looking at the fucking headlight, this one over here controls left and right. And then this hole way down in here, way down there, is the up and down. So you're gonna wanna put the fucking thing in there. Uh, Put some hair around it, Wes. All right. So tightening, because I've already done this, tightening raises it. You're going to want to loosen it. All right. There, I'll be happy with that. So we're going to go right there. Even though the truck's been wrecked, the headlight, as you can see, fits into the fucking opening a lot more correctly now. We're going to do the same fucking thing on this side now, too. Gonna loosen it, bring the fucking headlight down. Gonna go about right there. I gotta say, once I move the adjusters, they're pretty fucking solid now. Originally, yeah, see, this one's got a little wiggle to it. It's not bad. Originally, it was fucking bad. I was worried that the lights were just gonna be fucking flickering the whole way down the road, which sucked ass. Yeah, that's all there is to adjusting the fucking headlights. What's the fucking proper way of recycling one of these fucking cunts? I'll show you in two easy fucking steps. That's step one. Step two. properly disposed of you don't want the dolphins and the fishes getting caught in it now you know it's like the six-pack holders oh and bonus it's a fucking rubber catcher too all in fucking one just a little melted right there a little worn through right there but otherwise it's fucking good to go ready to go to work so on a scale of uh one to twelve beers this only took three Utica clubs. So, I mean, what was that, five minutes? Not bad. Not bad at all, I'd say. It might make it ten minutes if you have one of these and three of these. So, fuckers, uh, that's that. 
Would I recommend these fucking get a motor, I think it's called? I don't know, I'll put fucking description down here. Would I recommend them? Well, spend a hundred hours on worse fucking things, I'll tell you that. Ooh, are they the best? Oh, fuck no. They're made in China, guys. You get what you fucking pay for. But, I've bought other headlights for more. They're fucking made other places, and they were fucking terrible, so... For some no-name fucking brand company I've never heard of on Amazon, I'd say they're pretty decent. Better than what I fucking had. But uh, hop on their site, and then there's a discount code here, down here too, that they're fucking giving me to pass on to you fucks. So, back to regularly scheduled fucking programming in the next fucking video. I still got the beatdown fucking, or uh, I got the beatdown Buick 2.0 still. I gotta get the fucking Grand Marquis fucking cart running again. For some reason it's not running, because it's just, you know. Sits and it's a Ford and does Ford things. A burnout I tried with this, not tried, but uh, tried doing a Christmas burnout for you fuckers, but it was dark, a bunch of ice, and it just really kind of sucked. See, you don't want to just get your caliper or rotors and calipers glowing red. That's how you know they're working. I didn't feel like uh, posting it, but these tires are nice and bald. You're going to get fucking blown the fuck out one of these days. But uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of fucking videos for you guys coming up. I'm patient with me. Hope you guys enjoyed this bullshit. And uh, yeah, don't put your fucking hands in any place you want to put your dick.